so Arful has a question. Uh, we're working on having the organization update email signatures just for us to get an idea of where which client staff is using Outlook from. So Outlook Windows client, Outlook for the web, Outlook for iOS, et cetera. Would it be possible to run a report on the admin side of the Exchange or Microsoft 365? We would like to see the use of the web, Windows versions, and Mac versions of Outlook in use. For example, we have some PCs in Outlook 2016, some in Outlook 2019, and others on Outlook 365 in use. Yes, you can. Yes. yes. <laughs> In the reporting, it actually shows you who's using who's using what when it comes to Microsoft 365, and that's overarching. Yeah, that that that, that data is there that you can easily go in and and find for the entire organization of how people are accessing and the various tools. So yeah, that's like an out of the box. Yeah, yeah out of the box. I believe it's it's shown right on the mailbox statistics. If you pull up a mailbox, it'll show you what if anyone is connected and what they're connected with. Yeah, straight yeah. on the main admin center, you can go to um, you can go to reports and go to usage, go to exchange and go to email app usage and it tells you everything you want to know. Yep. Yep. And that's that's for a lot of them under the app usage and it will go into um, quite a lot of different ways because it will look at um, Windows, it'll look at Mac, it'll look at um, Outlook Mobile, it'll look at Mail on, a, like there's Mail on a Mac, there's are they using an IMAP, a POP, a, there's all the different ways that they're actually coming in in terms of the way the user's doing it and then it's like, and then what app are they actually using to access? So it will actually go through all of those components. Um, unless you've actually got the um, identifiable information turned on in your reporting, you're not going to see who's doing what. So you have to have that turned on if you really need to know the specifics to be able to help or support them, especially if it comes to anything off the back of it. Well, the other half of this is the, uh, you know, working on, uh, you know, the updating signatures and managing signatures. Has anybody tried to do that out of the box? It's actually coming. It's a new feature. Um, Microsoft have turned on to be able to do the auto um, rollover from if you move device. I know that is in play, but the auto signature to say, I haven't seen anything that would push out. Have you seen anything? So I haven't seen anything that would say it is on a mobile or it is on. It's there on a mobile automatically. It kind of comes up and you can leave it in. But yeah. apart from that, I don't know about it being, you can set one up for your desktop, but if you set it up for the desktop and with the new new feature coming in that might then roll over to your online to you know through the browser version which would be because they're trying to sync you know the way that it looks across all of them I'm not sure that would work well just signatures in general you know have the ability to synchronize your signature in the cloud so any device you connect once you've done that it's uh, automatically it's gets it it's just it's just there mm. yeah I, I love my third party. It looks and looks really great. <laughs> I was going to say, so I, look, I'm biased. I, so uh, um, Exclaimer is a partner and I've worked with them for years and and they're pretty much the leader in uh, centralized uh, signature management across multiple platforms. So if you're if you have users that are using Gmail uh, and and other other email platforms as well as Microsoft 365, but they're they're primarily predominantly within the Microsoft space. Yeah. Um, but then you could actually go in and um, um, I'm actually writing an ebook for them right now. Um, but you could actually go in and do uh, uh, set it up and do marketing campaigns. So you can have email signatures that automatically change by department, but based on campaigns that are rolling out. Or if an event comes to an end, it changes the banner that's attached to it. Um, I mean, the, 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 all the, you, know, you could do polls through signatures. I mean, uh, it just, it's amazing what you can do when you centrally manage those components. And that is stuff that is not available within the Microsoft, uh, uh, you know, out of the box solutions. Um, so depending on what you're trying to do, Arful, um, there are great platforms out there, but I would definitely go take a look at Exclaimer. I'm not paid for saying that. I just really like their product. Uh huh. Yeah. Doing other yeah. stuff with them, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know. 
we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so it's one right. it is one of those solutions that where you know people that you know finally go and see it and be like, why have I not been using this as a as a company doing this? It's pretty slick, but all right, yeah, now I'm a lot off of great my third. There's a, no, <laughs> but there is a lot of great third party. A lot of times, the things that we answer do have a third party solution. It may not always be inside Microsoft, so knowing which ones can do what is also <laughs> important. The best one, one, of the, one, one, right, one of my favorite <laughs> things to do to go to events is walking around the expo hall, especially the larger events, and be like, you know, what have I, what's new? What have I not seen? What new? Because mm-hmm. so much, what's interesting about the, the, the ISV ecosystem is it really helps you better understand the limitations of the technology yes. that we use. And yes. Microsoft marketing will try to paste over, cover over, paper over the uh sometimes the gaps in the feature set uh and where partners will go right in and automate clean the up, paper organize clip? that yeah <laughs> you're not they're the paper clip for the paper to, to you're not saying that they that they fib are you christian oh <laughs> no they, no no they I'm, embellish, I'm just saying embellish? that what i'm saying is that <laughs> Sometimes, occasionally, the marketing <laughs> is slightly ahead of what the engineering team has actually done. That's all ah. I'm saying. You know, I'm. Uh, so. Good, good try. Good try. Suddenly, Christian Buckley is no longer an RD and MVP. (laughs) (laughs) A non-paid, non-attorney spokesperson, yes. (laughs) That's right.